Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, we are starting with some oracles this evening to give you a little more insight into your connection. We're rounding up on the end of the year, so we're going to do a little digging, guys. Like, do you want to take this mess with you into 2025? 2025. Woo, child. 2025. Let's see what's going on. Just give you another guidance. Or for guidance. I hope I get a good one for you. It says, oh child. It says you miss someone. The shallow grave, you miss someone. Ooh, and it is number 29. So it says you miss someone, you feel a little lonely, or you could just be thinking about them missing now. Doesn't mean you want to be with them, you know what I mean? Alright, shallow grave, you miss someone. Here we go. It is time to let something go. But before you do, let's take a moment to acknowledge what this was to you. Know that this meant so much and that by returning it to the past rather than yearning for it in the present, you are creating a future that has a greater freedom to it. There are opportunities for fresh starts all the time. Every day, in a sense, gives you a clean slate. For you, this sense of starting over is immensely important after you have grieved. You need to feel that something has been laid to rest and will no longer trespass on the present. Life is kind of like that. So much of what happens isn't about what's actually happening. But thankfully, you will blossom and grow with fresh relationships and love after mourning this lost one. Mm. Guys, you got to mourn it and let, let it, lay it to rest. So your divination message here is sentimentally holding on to the past, idealizing the past, refusing, not allowing yourself to get over a breakup with a friend, a move to a new town, a faded romance, parents who have divorced, or something you are convinced that you must have back in order to be happy again. Mourning for what was and what and what you feel should have been very deep sadness and yet this experience has been of great value It is time to move on and to place all of that to rest Working with the element of earth is most beneficial when this card and fairy comes to visit you You may wish to plant a memory tree something earthy and growing that changes to commemorate your lost love as it grows and changes, you will heal and memories will be sweet and sad without bitterness and pain. The earth takes forms and changes them and gives back to us what we let go of in new forms. It is time for you to stop hanging on so sadly to that which has long passed, mourn, and then come back to us ready to live again. So guys, it's time to let go of something, someone in the past. It's like you got to grieve it, you got to let it go gotta let it go so you can you know bring in new life for you right every day is a new chance or whatever but you, you're definitely missing someone and there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with it but don't let it overtake your life you're like oh my god what am i getting to do what was me all that type of stuff like i'm not saying go out and jump into another relationship or whatever this means to you uh just live your life and slowly but surely close the book on it or whatever or you know you can keep them in the book just turn start a new chapter all right guys what is going on here you missed someone two of cups we have two of cups energy here and judgment so you're definitely facing your judgment here i think you really wanted this person to accept your cup or vice versa. Or maybe you did exchange cups at one point. This person could have been your emotional fulfillment. All of those things. Uh, you started following your intuition. Thinking. You, you probably thought this was your person. And they could have been. And they was probably your person for that moment in time. But for whatever reason, something came to an end with the Ten of Cups in reverse. And you probably thought it was going to be victory. It could also be somebody who's... Maybe because it ended, people could be encouraging you to move forward as well. Like, go forward, there's victory elsewhere, right? So things ended, you could be moving on, or maybe you thought this was going to be victory with this person. 
you're definitely not going to allow yourself, you're not going to hold yourself back. You're realizing that it didn't work. There was no teamwork with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So for whatever reason, guys, it just didn't work. It's different for everyone. This flipped over. At the time, you probably weren't standing in your highest power or in your highest self. And you was just in love and you was betrayed. You was betrayed by this person. But you're not up in your head anymore about this ending. Like, you know, it's kind of like it is what it is. You're not up in your head anymore. But as you choose to go forward and as people encourage you to go forward, you're still unsure about it. You're not very hopeful about what's to come. You probably thought, oh, this was my person, you know. And we've all been there. We all have someone that just didn't work, right? I'd be like, that was the greatest love of my life. So it looks like you're kind of hesitating a little bit. You do have a fear of change. You could, oh, excuse me, you still could be in your ego a little bit when it comes to this energy here. But you did end things with this person. Either or they ended things with you. I don't know. But it's the death card with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I don't know if you left them or they left you. But it's definitely over. Definitely over. You do have the Ace of Cups here. And you're up in your head about what you're going to do with this Ace of Cups. You could be thinking about offering your cups to someone else. Like you're definitely up in your head. Either that or you just really love this person. And you can't figure out why they did what they did. Or why they walked away from you. Or why it just didn't work. You know. Holy Spirit. Two of Cups. Nine of Wands in reverse. Maybe you found out that your person was cheating. Now see, for some of you, I don't know if you was married to this person or you found out that this person was married and that they was cheating with you. You could have found out that they were married and then spirit came down and gave you a sign, you know. But I think you were in love with this person. Spirit, clarify the four of wands. King of wands in reverse. So you could have found out that this person was married. King of wands with the queen of wands upright. So, I don't know. And maybe it just broke your heart. Uh, Spirit, clarify this Ten of Cups in reverse. I guess after this ending, the Wheel of Fortune will be in your favor. So you will have good things going forward. You're definitely over it. You're over the situation. Um, it's just going to take you a minute to heal. I think you found out that your person was married. Spirit, clarify this Five of Swords. She was definitely betrayed. Queen of Swords energy. Three of Cups energy. So they was definitely out there celebrating with other people, having a good time. Who is this Queen of Swords energy? That could be you. Like you're not up in your head anymore. Or you're not up in your head about this person. You can see that they changed on you. So they, they probably definitely changed on you. Spirit, clarify this death card. Who ended what? Did you end it? Or did they end it? You definitely healed from this ending. They left you. We have the King of Pentacles here. I think you probably found out that your person was married with that Four of Wands. Or you was either hoping that you would have that with this person and it didn't work. Yeah, you're coming in as the King of Pentacles. You're not up in your head anymore. You're learning to stand in your power. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they broke your heart. They ended things with you and you're moving on. They stopped putting in work. You stopped putting in work. Ace of Cups. You do want love in your life. You just want more of a balance in your life. But you're still kind of hesitating about going forward. You're just kind of up in your head. Like, take your time. You don't have to rush into another connection. You know, just heal from this one and leave it in the past. You, you're realizing that you chose wrong, for sure. With this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're coming in as the King of Pentacles. Um, 
Yeah, you just chose wrong. You realize this person was the devil, and then there's the tower there. You are moving on eventually. No more arguing and fighting with this person. No more being placed in competition. Um, you will get your justice. For sure. Consider yourself single. You're ending this world with this person. Because they were in another connection. They were either in another connection. I think they were in another connection. But you have new opportunities coming your way. You may even have an empress coming towards you. And then there's the king of cups. So you may have... Oh, that's, that could be your new beginning. Queen of Pentacles. No, Empress. You could have found out that they were in another connection. Or either this is what you want. But you have new opportunities. Which could come in the form of an Empress. We have the King of Cups. And then taking that leap of faith. With a new beginning. And then we have a Queen of Cups. Very loving person. And here you are. Leaving the past in the past. You're moving on. You realize that they were sneaky. Nasty. Underhanded. All those other things. You feel manipulated. You found out that they had another lover. Yeah, this person hurt you, but now you're standing in your strength, which is actually good. And you're slowly moving on. There was deception. You're a little frustrated, but you need to move on. Yeah. So, guys, it is what it is. It's time to leave. You could be missing this person, but it's time to leave the past in the past. Woo, child. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.